Ever since I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the fuse who I can bring bad news to all these crews who can't NBA jam with the shoe. Hey everybody, welcome back to a quick beer review. Uh, sticking with the old shelf beers, budget beers, whatever you want to call it. The easily accessible beers uh, from Firestone Walker up in Paso Robles, I do believe. This is 805. This is, I mean, to me, when I think of Firestone Walker, this is the beer I think of. I mean, is flagship beer the right, is that the right word to use? I don't know. Uh, this is a blonde ale, something completely out of my wheelhouse, but something that I enjoy. Um, I've had a bunch in the past. Uh, it is 4.7% alcohol by volume. Um, it's funny because it doesn't say what kind of beer it is on the can, but it's a blonde ale. So uh, it says born on California Central Coast, properly chill, Firestone Walker, Paso Robles. I don't think they have any other. I was thinking, like I was questioning before I started this video, if they had like opened another location, but they're still down in Paso. So I've always wanted to go to Fire. I think, what is it called? Firestone Walker Festival. Always, I have always wanted to do that. And I've never done it, but such is life. I don't know where this beer came from. Um, this has been in my, fr I, <laughs> we might've had this, someone might've brought this over for a Christmas party back in December. I mean, it's May, but whatever. Do they date these cans? They don't, it doesn't matter. It's a Blondale. You could have this in your fridge forever if you want. I mean, not forever, but it's not gonna go bad. It's not hoppy. You don't have to worry about it fading. You don't have to worry about any of that stuff. So uh, this is a cool, like straw yellow. Um, it's a bit darker than I remember it looking. It's not as pale as I remember it looking. Um, there's like a pinky finger, a bright white head, tons and tons of carb in the glass, but the head is not sticking around. It's a 5% beer. Like, what do you, what do you want from it? So let's see what this smells like. It smells sweet and it smells bready. Not a whole lot of aroma to it. Yeah, it's just sweet, uh, like sweet maltiness and just a, like a, if you've smelled freshly baked bread before, that's what it smells like. It's not hoppy, it's not grassy, it's not offensive. Um, it's very nondescript, very light. There's something else in there that I'm smelling that I can't put my finger on exactly what it is. Cheers, maybe I'll think about it after I taste it. Absolute crusher of a beer. Um, good summertime beer. Something uh, that if you're not really into hoppy beers, um, something a little bit, I think there's more flavor to this than there is like light macro lagers. If you're not, if that's not your jam, this is just something that's super easy drinking. It's sweet, it's light, it's crisp, it is thirst quenching, um, and it's got that bready thing. Not much else going on. Um, maybe like a tiny bit of, there's something that I'm smelling in there. I don't know if it's like a little bit of like a floral thing, uh, but it's not, you know, overwhelming or anything crazy. There's just something else that's in there that I just, I can't put my finger on what it is. It almost smells like when you're like either cooking or baking. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what that is. But listen, I mean, this beer in California is everywhere. Um, you know, with summertime around the corner, you want to drink light beer, but you don't want to, you know, buy macro lagers. This is something that you should have in your fridge. Um, 805 Cerveza with the lime. That's one of my favorite shelf beers. We reviewed that a while back. Um, and I've been meaning to put a video up on this. I would probably take that beer over this just because I just, I'm such a sucker for lime and a lager. I, one of my like first memories of drinking beer after I had like, you know, <clears throat> chose something else besides Coors Light was drinking Coronas with lime in it. I just, it's near and dear to my heart. I don't know what it is about it. I love it. So can't go wrong with this one. Um, especially, like I said, if you're not someone who's into hops, um, you want something light, refreshing, something that's not going to get you hammered. 805 is the way to go. I was talking recently on a, was it the Narragansett video? How California doesn't have like a state lager. Like when I think of California, I think of 805, but it's Blondale. Um, I think it was, yeah, it was Narragansett. We were talking about how Massachusetts or the East Coast, that's like their thing. Up in Washington, there's Rainier. Uh, what else were we talking about? Was there one in Texas? I can't remember, but um, yeah, this is like your go-to kind of California light beer. That's like I said, everywhere, gas stations, grocery stores, liquor stores, uh, CVS's, Rite Aid's, drug stores, is that what you call them? 
what are those called these days? Um, it's everywhere. It's cheap. It is what it is. It's good stuff. I like it. Nothing mind blowing, nothing amazing. Just a solid summer crusher of a beer. We will leave it at that. You guys fans of this one? 805. It's one of my buddy Frank's favorite beers. I think of him when I drink of this beer. When I drink of this beer, I think of him when I drink this beer. <laughs> good Lord. Uh, I think that's it. Let's talk about it. You want to? Appreciate you guys watching. See you soon. Cheers. Thank you for coming behind the bar in the arcade. All that shit. <laughs> Ever since I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the fuse so I can bring bad news to all these crews who can't NBA jam with the shoes.